Okay, today we're going to look into um, using group policy to uh, show a user list in the sharing dialog when you're sharing a file or folder. So um, first I'll go look at that policy. It's under the group policy common settings sharing section. And you can see show user list in sharing dialog. And uh, you also see show guest user list in sharing dialog. So before I enable this, I'm going to go back to the tenant. I'm going to go to my file browser and I'm going to go into the team folder. I'll right click the music folder and hit share. And then when I pull down this arrow here, you can see there's nothing in this box. Okay, so I'm going to hit cancel. And now I go back into my dashboard and go to group policy and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into the sharing section and I'm going to enable show user list and sharing dialog. Now this is referring to the uh, users that are in the tenant. So uh, that is enabled. I'm going to hit save, go back to my folder and uh, now when I go to share the music folder and I pull this down I see the local users that are available to me to share for. And if I want to share something with uh, user1, it automatically puts the user's email address in there for me. And uh, I can edit a note. Hit continue. And now I can uh, give full control and hit share. And now uh, that share is enabled. So if another user logs in, uh, I'm going to bounce over here to a different browser uh, where I have uh, the T3 admin is logged in. I'm going to log that user out and log in a different user. Okay, so I'll go to the same folder. I'll pick the uh, CityPix folder this time and hit share. And now when I pull this down, you can see that I have a user that I shared with previously, an external user. Uh, but that was because I had actually shared with that user at a previous time. Um, if I had never done any sharing, there would only be uh, the other users that are in this tenant, which would be the uh, admin and user one. And, uh, but any other users that you share with externally will also be shown here. So um, let me jump over to another user. Now I go to that folder and hit share, pull this down. And because the user has been shared to before, um, that share will be available to me. Okay, let's share with another external user. And we'll make this uh, edit full control and we'll hit share, and that is done. Now, if I go to share uh, something else, and I pull this down, then that new user will be included in my list. All right, so let's go back to where the admin is logged in, and uh, we'll hit refresh. And now let's go to Beach Photos, and I hit Share. And this user only sees the other two users in the system. Well, that's because this user hasn't shared with anyone externally, so they're not going to show up in my shortlist here. Unless I go back to Group Policy, Sharing, and then go down a little bit farther, and Show Guest User List in Sharing Dialog. So if I enable that and hit save, and then go back to my folders, we'll go into CityPix and we'll uh, share this photo. 
Now we'll pull down this list. Now the external users that other users have shared with are available to me as well. All right. So you can see that uh, you can control um, normally the default setup is that users and uh, guest users will not show up in the drop down list uh, when you're doing a share unless you have shared with them before then they become part of your list um, unless you've enabled that in the group policy setting and at that point those shares will be visible even if a new user is created they'll also see that list and I'll see you in the next tutorial goodbye